What's going on guys, Tetra Ninja here, and I was actually going to record this commentary last night, but it was like 3am and basically my hormone levels dropped below like 50 or something, so I had no energy to do it, so I decided to save it till this morning, and I'm glad I did because now I have a topic to talk to you guys about today. I was just going through my Twitter and Hutch shouted out a guy who just posted a video um, basically saying his thoughts on the Call of Duty community at this point and it's kind of hard for people to get noticed uh, so I'll leave a link to his channel in the description it's fair is fair right so I, I just decided to offer my thoughts on this subject because it kind of inspired me um, this guy he's been doing commentary for like a year and a half now and he's basically just hit well before the shout out the Hutch gave him he had like a thousand subscribers which is pretty uh it, for the amount of time he's been doing it understandably he is kind of upset and my alarm's going off so i'll be right back because i got turned off all right back <laughs> sad as it sounds i have an alarm set for 12 p.m because i stay up way too late and i had to work at 1 15. but uh man just lost my train of thought here um yeah so he's been doing commentary for a year and a half um I, and he i don't think he he probably doesn't uh, get enough recognition for what he's been doing. That's what that's just what happens. That's understandable um, But he kind of went through a long-winded explanation of his ideas of the community so far and Like I totally agree with him in the fact that yes There are a lot of people doing commentaries right now and a lot of people are just doing Modern Warfare 2 uh, video game commentary without really posting up anything else and they're kind of in this for the whole popularity aspect of trying to get, I don't know, quote unquote, famous on YouTube, if that's even a possibility, I guess. Um, first off, um, I'll give, like I, like I said before, I've told you guys many times, I've been doing this for about four or five months now, and my main thing for you guys out there who are, have other channels out there, if you want to get noticed and you want to kind of expand your channel a little bit larger like he said the market's extremely saturated right now with other commentators and you got you have to have HD these days like it, it was okay if you're like one of the earlier uh, directors and you're still running with the standard definition but HD is basically the standard now and if he this guy he didn't run HD at all he's just run standard definition and a lot of times I know personally like when people send me messages and it's not an HD like it pains me to kind of, like I still watch them but I don't I don't like actually watch the videos I just kind of put the video in the background while I do other things and unless you have like really like, outstanding commentary uh, you have to have HD it's just basically what you gotta do so the, the, if, I, if he was talking to me that'd be the, like my main tip for him if he's been doing this for like a year and a half now then obviously he's pretty serious about it or he finds it like a great hobby then you should upgrade to HD. That's basically my first suggestion. His next point was that there are people who basically seem to just show up overnight and uh, they for some reason just explode and either they know someone famous or whatever reason they, you gotta do what you gotta do to get subscribers. I'm not gonna go into a whole rant of how I think some people kinda take the whole popularity contest thing overboard but um, but yeah like I said if if you get if you explode overnight, then good for you. I really don't care. Um, I I think that this what's basically hindering this community, or it's kind of like a thorn in this community, is like this whole popularity contest aspect of it. Um, I've basically could give two shits about the amount of subscribers that I have, like volume wise. Like I personally like I like the subscribers that I have right now, and I, maybe I shouldn't be talking because I just hit, hit like 4K the other day in comparison to what's out there that may not be a lot but I find that like the subscribers that I have are like really really awesome people that I can kind of like talk to on like a consistent basis like I sometimes like when I do those live streams when I take down the videos I have recently just started actually sitting back and just talking to some of you guys through the stream and it, I find like that, that's like that just shows me that the subscribers that I have are like really really cool people and I find like like if you if you get in too much of this whole popularity contest of 
YouTube, then you're not in it for the right reasons, I guess. That's easier to say. Um, this is fun. This Video games are supposed to be fun. And uh, I do these things because I like doing it. Um, some people kind of, like when I post my videos on Machinima, people kind of flame me because I use the scene anners layout, and which I have always admitted before that it I got the idea form from him and it's a complete rip off of his idea but I like doing it because it makes it so that I feel more accomplished when I put out a video uh, if you notice that I don't oh I just don't put these videos with these layouts on machinima I always put them on my channel just because I feel like I said I feel more accomplished when I do that it's just like a personal decision saying that I'm gonna try to put the best content I can out there whether it be for Machinima whether it be for my channel and then because this is what I enjoy doing I'm not in here to just like I don't know sub whore or make the occasional buck from from the videos I get put on Machinima so the video ends here um, I'm just gonna keep going on with this topic and I'm just gonna put like a picture at the end and so, so I don't want this, it won't be too much longer, but I just don't want to go on like a rant, but I still have a couple more topics to talk about. But yeah, if like this, also he also said that this game is extremely frustrating, and it is. I took like a four or five day break from Modern Warfare 2, and it was quite like, it was like well needed. Went, played back, went back to play some COD 4 for a bit, and sure enough, Modern Warfare 2 pulled me back in. Uh, just because I watch a lot of the live streams that the other commentators post up and when you're watching someone play it just makes you like I don't know it gets your mojo going and and although you may regret it instantly when you come back uh, it is a, still a half decent game to play but he, he also ma made it a point where he said like the people making commentaries these days are just putting up Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 2 and that's basically it and like but he has to understand that these pe it's their channels and people, uh, and you have to respect the fact that it is their channel and they're allowed to do whatever they want. It shouldn't matter if they put Modern Warfare 2 or they should put Pokemon videos or whatever. Um, and when they should be able to talk about whatever they want to talk about. Um, it frustrates the hell out of me when I see that commentators are being kind of restricted by their by their viewership or their subscribers. Uh, example of this, a couple of weeks ago, uh, the Moody Swede put up a video of him playing uh, Call of Duty 4, I think, after a night of going out on the town with his boys. And basically people flamed him and says, oh, he's just trying to act cool. He was ripping it up with the sniper rifle, as per usual. And people were kind of just ripping, uh, ripping him and saying, oh, he's just trying to act cool and everything. And he took the video down. And to me, that's like, what the hell? It's your channel, dude. You should be able to put whatever you want up or, and talk about whatever you want. And if they don't like it, then they can just basically hit the unsubscribe button. You shouldn't feel limited just because you're a commentator to your to your subscribers and stuff like that. And I, I think that's what people feel the same way about the content that they put up on their channel. But yeah, if I'm ever in a position where people are telling me not to post... Um, stuff that I want to post I'll just like close down this channel if it ever gets to a point where it just becomes too aggravating because oh to be honest guys I'll play what I want to play whether and I'll post whatever I want to post whether it be Halo um, Heavy Rain or Pokemon if I ever decide to get back into competitive battling again um, Legend Zelda stuff like I'll post what I want to post and if you guys like it hopefully you do then that's fine if, if you don't like it like I said like he said there's a lot of the commentators out there who just do Modern Warfare 2 um, or Call of Duty series in general so check out their channels and and I'm sorry to lose you but them's the breaks right and then that probably leads to you to wondering if I don't really care about the amount of subs I have then what do I really care about um, I care about um, your guys opinions I always read the comment boxes on my, my, my last couple latest videos and I try to respond to all the questions that you guys leave me and I, that's what I find personally more rewarding that I'm kind of like interacting and engaging with you guys and as well like having this channel has also afforded me the luxury of meeting a lot of really cool people over the uh, over either Xbox Live or PSN um, my friends list was like before I ever do this commentary was that like 
10 people and right now it's just like at 30 people uh, those, but those are like core people that like I have no problems just like jumping in a game with at any time I keep my friends list pretty small that's why I don't really accept uh, friend requests open friend requests unless I've actually gamed with those people before so yeah that's basically what I'm in it for uh, I'm in it for a hobby uh, meeting cool people and interacting with you guys so I know this kind of stretched out and it's been a little bit long-winded but I, I kind of hopefully I've kind of offered uh, you guys my insights on this community uh, at this point of basically it's gonna like it's still gonna explode even more when um, Black Ops comes out and the theater theater modes introduced you're gonna see a whole lot of content from new new um, new commentators and new different channels but just because you're you've been doing this for a while and maybe it is it does get frustrating at some points but if you put quality content out there and you truly enjoy what you're doing and that gets like completely relayed in your videos you may not notice it but if your viewership will notice it if you truly do enjoy doing this type of thing then um, it shows it shows in your videos and just yeah so just if you do like enjoying it just doing it and eventually it will pay off like that guy like I said he just got shut out shut out from Hutch which is like the biggest shout out you can get and probably didn't even expect it so yeah enjoy what you're doing Hopefully this video hasn't been too preachy. Um, I just right now decided that I'm gonna throw a second game on for you guys, but you probably know that because you've been watching it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Leave your opinions on what you guys think of this community uh, as of right now, and all the commentators out there, and and all the other topics that I've talked about. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.